I guess uh, number 18 aside, uh, pretty happy with the way things went today. Just one shot off the lead now heading into the final round. Yeah, I guess if you told me uh, at the beginning of the day that I'd be just one shot back instead of being three, I uh, would have been pretty happy. Um, obviously a bit of a sour taste in my mouth after the way I finished, but you know, I know I know that I played awesome all day. Just a bit of an unfortunate bogey on the last, but um, you know, I didn't I didn't do too much wrong there. Just uh, you know, snowballed a little bit on me there. So you know, start tomorrow fresh, and you know, it'll be a bit of a shootout tomorrow. But uh, it'll be exciting. And lots of guys in the in the hunt, so be good. So you just try and forget about what happened on 18 there, or do you use that as motivation to get refocused for number one tomorrow? Well, I think it definitely will. You know, put a bit of a, bit, a little bit of fire in my belly because you know I was. A little bit frustrated, but um, you know I can't uh, I can't dwell on something like that. Uh, you know, earlier earlier this year I <clears throat> bogeyed my last hole in U.S. Open qualifying, and I almost missed out there, and I end up winning in a playoff. So, you know, yeah, you, uh, just try and take some sort of positive away from it. And you know, the whole the whole day was a positive on the whole, so uh, I can't look too much at that last hole. What was working for you out there today? You know, everything was just everything was steady. Everything was solid. You know, I drove the ball well, and I, you know, hit lots of lots of great iron shots into the green. So, you know, if you're driving it well and, and you know hitting it on the greens uh, relatively close, you know, my day was pretty, pretty much stress free. You know, I had lots of good chances, and you know, even up, you know, 18, I hit the the best drive of the day by far, and you know, I was looking good to make a birdie. So. Um, you know, very easily could have been five, six under, but uh, still a great round. Uh, how well do you know Hubbard? Any, th any thoughts on playing with him in the final group tomorrow? Uh, I don't know if I'm in the final group because I think someone finished before me, Skins. Okay, so it goes with uh, ties yeah, and all that. It, well, it's, it's, it's well, first in, last out. Okay. So um, I believe I'm in the second last group. Um, I'm not sure who I'll play with, but, you know, I guess you could say, you know, that might be okay too because if I'm in the second last group, you know, there's less... Uh, less distractions with the gallery and all that you know I know from the Winnipeg experience that uh, you know lots of people like to move around and it's hard to get people to stay still when you're when you're putting so you know that'll, that'll be a positive I guess um, I would have liked to be in the last group because then you kind of know what's going on and um, but I'll have a good idea what's going on out there and uh, so it should be fun. Playing with Corey today uh, is that fun for you playing with a Canadian guy and two guys you know battling for the lead? Yeah Corey and I have played together quite a few times now so uh, we're pretty familiar with uh, playing together, and yeah, we had uh, we had a good time out there, and had it going for a little bit, and then he um, had a little bit of a stumble in the middle, and then he got back, and so we both played well. Just um, you know, didn't didn't go so low, but um, we're in good spots for tomorrow.